Okay, so I'm not I'm not supposed to pull fingers from people I didn't actually take out myself, which seems reasonable, I suppose. The person I'm looking for is not out here. So, are they? Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. Answer your oh no! Fire! Nobody likes being set on fire. I don't. Oh! Stimpak! Where's my super Stimpak? Super Stimpak! Super Stimpak! Where is my super super Stimpak? Here we go. Oh, just take one of everything. Oh. Heat! Heat! Fire! Okay, don't squish him too much. Gonna need his finger. Was this the guy? Was this the guy? Finger of fugitive. I'm taking two fingers from you because I'm pretty sure you're the guy. Why am I overloaded? Why am I asking stupid questions? Who uses a flamethrower in a tent anyway, hmm? Especially their own tent. I'm not exactly an expert on camping, but this place sort of screams fire hazard. We're definitely not dealing with the best and brightest out here, are we? Okay, I should definitely put my helmet on. Oh, right. Yes, I found the map that that wastelander gave us. The map shows directions to Rock Creek Caverns with the notation Myalurk King's Treasure Chamber. Okay. Well, I was right about it being the Rock Creek Caverns then. And apparently there's a treasure there? <sighs> okay, let's file that under... Maybe check it out later. <sighs> right. I've stored a bunch of stuff in there. I'm not sure I'm coming back for it, because there's not a lot of it, but it's... Well, I can't carry it all. I'm already overloaded, I'm afraid. But, we are not... Did you see a man doing a cartwheel in the direction of that, what looks like a Yagwai? Or was that just me? Just me. Okay. Uh, right. So, weather's not great, but we've not got far to go. I think we're heading in... No. We're heading in that direction, because of course we are. There's a sentry bot and a Yagwai. All right, then. I guess we should just... Uh... Oh. I've got some pulse mines and a pulse grenade. Might it be a... Where is it? Yagwai's up there. I could have sworn I saw a sentry bot. Oh, please don't tell me that a stealth... Ah. Ah. Oh, we can probably avoid him as long as we head towards the Yagwai. Him. It's a robot. Okay, let's deal with the Yagwai. Yeah, that might be where we're going. I've lost the Yagwai. I suspect the Yagwai has... I was going to say not lost us, but... Apparently, we got the drop on it, which is... I am really worried about how easily I lose track of a sentry bot. Then, oh, I'm going to be overloaded. Oh no, I've got, I've got, I've got a little wiggle room in the backpack. Yes, I do. Right. I think this is the place. Yeah. What is that? Looks like a power station. Okay, you know what? Let's not get too distracted. 
we've got a full day ahead of us. We don't know what we're going to find up here. Let's focus on the... Okay, what we're going to find up here is... A lot of red scorpions. Okay, I don't know for sure if we're going to... I'm... I'm not actually all that impressed with this. I don't know why. I mean, it, yes, it does a lot of damage per shot, but it fires pretty slowly. You can fire it quickly, but you've got to time it right. And honestly, at the moment, I'm sort of feeling like the recharger pistol, because I can just lay into things with 20 shots. Wow, there are a lot. An awful lot of rad scorpions around here. Okay. Hello? I'm looking for somebody called Dave? Does this look like a republic to you? This... Ah, we're not quite there yet. Hello? Okay. Just... Yeah. There might be somebody in there with, I don't know, a grenade launcher or a flamethrower. <sighs> Hello? Um, I'm, I'm just a concerned citizen wondering if you're okay. There were... Rads, okay. This is a somewhat disturbing looking place. Okay, it's just a shack filled with, well, horror, probably. Why is, why does this shack have a... Okay, I'm just gonna call this serial killer. Serial killer and or cannibal. Yeah, definitely, definitely getting a serial killer cannibal vibe right here. Bobby pins. I'm going to turn around in this. No, dog meat would have, uh, would have. So... Okay, another empty safe with a light on top of it. What is this? What? Is this? I am... Okay, I should probably be careful about what food I take. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna stick with the uh, liquid nitrogen. I'm not even gonna touch the whiskey. Because you never know. I'm gonna end up overloaded. Definitely getting... Oh yeah, definitely getting serial killer vibe. Well, I was calling in here because I was worried that somebody had been murdered by rad scorpions. But after seeing the inside of that place, I can't help but feel that that would possibly be a good thing. I mean, I might be misjudging... ...whoever lived here. But they had a jail cell. Why would you have a jail cell? Hmm. Is it there? Okay, that's the only sign of civilization I'm seeing. You know what, though? I'm just going to take these out from here because. Wow. Still not a great shot. Let's get. Oh, yeah. A little bit better. Not good for the knees, but. You know what? Good for the ammo count. All right, let's let's just use the path. Oh, oh, I, I didn't kill that one. Got it. Do we have more? Okay. Nope. I'm taking the egg. I'm leaving the 
the gland. The eggs we can cook, I think. The poison... Well, I've got quite a few of them on ice anyway. Oh, and I am, like, this close to being overloaded. I have still no idea where we're going. Well... Aha, uh -huh, I... I think we found the place. Hello! Incoming friendly! Hello! Hi! Stop right there, mister. What you think you're doing in the Republic of Dave? Right! Your Republic is for feet. Prepare to be reclaimed by the way. <laughs> um, I'm not here to hurt anyone. What is this place? This is the Republic of Dave. Duh! It's named for President Daddy. President. But you have to talk to him if Daddy. you want to stay here. Uh, wait, who's this Dave guy and why does he have his own republic? Uh, I think I should probably ask Dave. Yes, I'd like to meet Dave. Okay, I'll take you. But President Daddy doesn't always like new people. That's okay. Okay, come with me. I don't like new people either. By the way, I'm not calling him President Daddy. <laughs> Okay. I don't suppose I could convince you to walk quicker, could I? No. Fine. Let's stroll slowly along. Actually, this is probably normal for most people. It used to be normal for me. Since leaving the vault, I found myself running everywhere. Good for the cardio, but really not. Okay, this feels familiar. This feels a little bit like the Regulator Headquarters, doesn't it? Whoop, 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 just... Got stuck. Okay. Have you thought about perhaps installing a few more lights? Oh! President Daddy, there's a Wastelander who wishes to see you, sir. I keep telling you, it's Mr. President. Now get back to guarding the gate. You've got your kid guarding the gate. Who would you vote for if you were old enough, Flower? Santa Claus. Okay, hi. I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President or I will have you executed. Now, uh, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? Most exalted President... Dave, I'm an ambassador from the... <laughs> I'm seeking asylum. I seek citizenship. I'm a traveler. I guess you could say I'm vacationing. If you excuse me a moment, I'll be right back. Uh, no, most exalted... I'm not calling you exalted President Dave. Um, I'm just a traveler. I'm, I'm vacationing, sort of. The Department of Tourist Rights has declared a tourism embargo that affects the entirety of the Republic of Dave. What? You have 24 hours to return to your home nation or face accelerated deportation. Oh, I won't need 24. No, I won't need 24 hours. Hi, 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 hi. hi. No, no, where are you going? Where are you going? H Hello? We have nothing more to talk about. Leave my Republic within 24 hours or you will be executed for treason. No, 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 is there nothing I... What if I make a donation? Is there nothing... Look, I want to talk to you about a key. I want to talk to you about a key. No one exiles me. Hey, look. So, look, I just want to hang around and chat a little. Is there something I can do to stay? Hmm. Now that you mention it, the president could use a new hunting rifle. What? Tell you what. You find me a serviceable hunting rifle, and I'll grant you special asylum within my republic. What? Or you can just pay the 250 cap tax on unwanted refugees. Oh, no! Unwanted ref... Stupidly over. I know where there's a hunting rifle. It's not far. Although I don't think I could carry it without using buff out. So probably it's going to be cheaper to pay you the 250 caps. But I object to giving you money. I object to giving you anything. But I really want to have a conversation about this. Fine, I will get you a hunting rifle. Very well. I look forward to it, future refugee. 
Okay. Look, there was no way I was calling him exalted Mr. President. Okay, none, zero, nada. Just was not happening. Let's get. Do I have any buff out? Am I going to be able to carry this? Because I'm not dropping something for him. I've got buff out. I can, I can get to the tent where there was a service bubble rifle. Nope, 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 we're not getting distracted, we're not getting distracted, we're getting straight to that tent, we're picking up the rifle, we're coming back, and then we're having a conversation with that man, and... Why do I keep seeing people, or in this case robots, cartwheeling across the horizon? Got it, I think. Oh, whoa, okay. No, no, no. Oh! Nope, definitely got it. Pulse mines! Sorry, grenades. Pulse grenades for the win. Oh, no, I'm already overloaded. Oh, right, yes, fine. Let's take the buff out right now. Okay. Let's go get that rifle and get back to the Republic. Right, yes, 32 rifle. I'm wondering if we should take some of this stuff. Maybe, do, you think, do you think we can sell anything to those guys? I mean, he said it's a republic. Does that mean they've got traders? Uh, honestly, you know what? Is it worth it? Probably not, but I, I can always, I can always drop grenades, right? I can always drop grenades. We'll take the grenades. Maybe we can sell them some grenades. I really do not like this Dave at all. No, I don't. I have a sneaking suspicion he's going to fall into the same category of person as... Hey there. Are you going to play Republic with us? You know what? Maybe we should talk... Hi, Flower. Are you really from the Wasteland? Yes, I am. Wow! Um... <laughs> no, I'd like to know more about the Republic. Um, okay. As long as President Daddy says it's all right. Okay. Tell me more about Dave. Daddy. President Daddy to you. <laughs> I am not calling him President Daddy. In fact, he actually told me to call him President... Mr. President, actually. So what have you been up to, then? President Daddy says I sleep too much, but I don't sleep much at all. Yeah, dads do that. Yeah, just, you know, it's a dad thing. It'll, it'll fade with, with time. What's your take on the Republic, then? I want to be like Shauna when I grow up. She's smart, just like Mommy. Of course, Daddy is smarter. Like, way smarter. Okay, opinions vary on that. Oh, that's that's all I needed to know. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, talk to you later. Hooray for the Republic! <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, okay. why do I feel like I'm in the weirdest and somewhat silliest cult ever? I know, it's a little kid, though, isn't it? Hello? A wastelander, like in the stories about Dave. The story's about Dave. Oh, do tell. Are you really from the Wasteland? Yep. Wow! Yep. I'd like to know more about this Republic of yours. Um, okay. As long as President Daddy says it's all right. Okay, tell me more about Dave. He's my daddy. He and Mommy Number One fight sometimes. Probably because of Mommy Number Two. Mommy Number One and... Two. Right, yeah. Seems I was sort of right, but okay. Um, here we go. Um, you've got two mums then. Uh huh. That seems mommy a bit number greedy, one and actually. Mommy number two. I like mommy number one better. She's been my mommy longer. I didn't have a mummy. You're kind of hogging all the mummies, kid. Is what I'm saying. However, I am. So what? Are, yeah. What do you get up to here? Seems a bit boring here, to be honest. Dave's my daddy. He's the bestest daddy ever. Okay. Uh, so what's your take on the Republic, then? I don't 
like mommy number two. Okay. What's wrong with just one mommy? But President Daddy says he needs two mommies. President Daddy is definitely a little on the greedy side, but um, yeah, okay. All right. So. Goodbye, Mr. Not Dave. Mr. Not Dave, I, that's me now, is it? I am not. That doesn't look like Dave Rachel, either. Rachel, can you believe you're almost old enough to hey, vote? Hey, Shauna, did you uh, do the early vote? Why can't I just vote now? Was I supposed to do it? I uh, Rachel. Friends. Are you really from the wasteland? Yep. Wow. Why does everyone keep saying that? Uh, I'd like to know more about the Republic. Um, okay. As long as President Daddy says President it's right. Daddy said it was fine. You have two mommies as well, do you? That's what President Daddy says, but I only remember having one mommy before. Yeah. Tell me more about Dave. Daddy? He's not so bad. Shauna says he's the most important man to ever walk the wastes. I don't know about that. The wastes are awfully big. They are indeed. You seem like a smart child. What 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 do you get up to here? I like to play with the toys in the museum, but Shauna always yells at me. You have a museum? Okay. So what what do you think of the place? Everyone says that Daddy is the best man ever, ever. I don't know, but that's what Shauna says. So I guess it's true. Okay, kid. You were uh, you you make your own mind up on things, okay? Don't don't listen to what everyone tells you. Well, listen, just don't believe it, yeah? Evaluate it for yourself. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's what Dave always says. Wait, what? Saying we have to. Isn't election time so much fun, Mary? Yeah, but it'd be better if I could vote. You're almost as big as Dave. I'm way bigger than Dave, mate. But uh, let, let's not quibble. Are you really from the wasteland? Yes. Whoa. You guys are really easily impressed. I'd like to know more about this republic. Um, okay. Please don't tell. As long as President Daddy says it's all right. I'm going to get a t-shirt with President Daddy said it's fine. Oh, you... So you have two mommies too, do you? I have one mommy. Okay. The other lady is Jessica. She's pretty, but she's mean. Okay. Jessica. Mean. Got it. Tell me about Dave. He's my daddy. Whenever we play Republic, I get to play as Dave. Watch, watch. I am sorry, sir, but I'm afraid that the Bureau of Dave-like activities has ordered your execution. Aren't I good? Huh? What? Dave-like act. Okay, so what you been doing recently, kid? I'm gonna be president when I grow up. Right. And, and you like the place, yeah? President Daddy is awesome. He buys all sorts of neat toys that we get to play with. Right. Okay, that's 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 pretty much all I need. Sure. Hello. Bye. I have to go practice my Dave impression anyway. Hello. What are you doing? Hey. Woo. Just hanging around. Hi. What's up with Dave you? He doesn't like us talking hanging to around strangers. this boring place. He doesn't like you talking to strangers, but but See strangers ya. like. Talking to people, so hi. Who doesn't like us talking to strangers? You mentioned that. Uh, okay. Uh, hello. Excuse me. Hi. Bob? I've got nothing to say to you, stranger. Right. You get. It. Whoa. Oh God. Let. Oh, let's go give this rifle to Dave. Mr. President. Got to call him Mr. President, or he'll have us executed. Which would mean I'd have to murder him, and probably a lot of other people. And honestly, I'm strangely okay with that f first part. I just feel like perhaps the second part might make me feel a little bad. Oh, the problems we have of someone new in my republic. having a conscience. Okay, day, Mr. President. Ah, you're back. So, have you brought a gift for the president? <sighs> Which is it? The rifle or the money? The rifle. Not giving you money. I mean, I, here's the thing. I kind of want to buy something from you. I just object to the extortion. Even though this is sort of extortion. But, fine. Here's a hunting rifle. Yes. This will do nicely. Congratulations. You are now an official refugee of the Republic of Dave. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just... Oh. Anything happening? Okay, sweet talk. Anything happening in this place, Mr. President? 
There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? Oh, I'm not surprised. I'd say it looks more like a dictator. Mmm, just, just got here. No, absolutely, definitely. Looks just as I imagined a republic would look. Well then, there you go. An election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. Okay. Wait, your father was a monarch? You mean like the butterfly? No, 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 your father was a monarch and you're the president. How does that work? My father inherited his political power from birth and renamed this great nation the Kingdom of Tom. Kingdom of Although Tom. I also inherited my political power from my father when I took over, I formed a republic so the people may elect their leader. Okay. Can I help with the election? No, no, no. I, I got the I've got it. I've got it. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I, I think I understand. Do they get to vote? Okay, but I get the idea. Let me ask you what something now? else. Yeah, look, okay. Um, here's the thing. I'm kind of here to speak to you about a ghoul named Mr. Crowley. There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Yeah. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. Yeah. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. What happened? Oh, okay. What happened in the fort, Mr. President? Two of us died, including Crowley. The rest achieved the mission goals and were paid. Ah, uh, okay. Um, should I ask him first? How did Mr. Crowley die? Yes. Okay. Look, how 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 do you think Mr. Crowley died? When the feral ghouls killed Terra, Tukov yeah. realized that he would get more of the commission. He decided to kill off the rest of us, too. Dukov. He locked Crowley into a room with feral ghouls, and that was the last we saw of him. Strayer and I didn't trust Dukov after that. The three of us finished okay. the mission together, but with guns drawn. Gotta be honest with you, Dukov told a slightly different story. I'm not saying which I believe at the moment. Okay, uh, look. Crowley is alive, and I'm supposed to bring back proof of your death, okay? How dare you question my military record? I'm not questioning. You have one hour to leave the Republic of Dave, or I will have you executed. What? No, listen to me. Listen to me. Crowley is alive, and he sent me to kill you because you hate ghouls. Me? Hate ghouls? Preposterous. Right, well, that's what Wait. I was thinking. You said you're here to kill me? I'm going to have to rescind well, no. your diplomatic immunity. No, no, he sent me... Then I'm going to execute you. Okay, listen. Wait, I've changed my mind. You have one hour to leave the Republic. Then I'll execute you. Or... Or... You give me the key, I can even pay you for it, and I go and tell him you're dead, and everyone's happy! Oh, God, you're annoying. Wait. <laughs> Tell me about this election again. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? Who's eligible to vote? That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Okay, Bob, sure. Rosie and Jessica are usually here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. Okay. Can I... Who, who's running in the election, then? Nobody except me. Why would the people need anyone else but Dave? I give them all that they ask for. I'd like to. I don't. I. I don't suppose I could run for president, could I? I'm sorry, but the president must be a citizen of the republic to run for office. Oh. Uh, so yeah. you do not qualify. Right. Okay. Is there any way I could help? If I helped with the election, would you, you know, talk about the Crowley situation? All right. Sure. Why not? The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. Okay. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today so I cinch the victory. Not that I have anything to worry about. 
The people know who their leader is in this republic. Okay, um... No, no, fine, yes, uh, I, I could do that. Very well. Right, okay. As far as I can see, we've got two choices, yeah? Actually, technically, we've got three choices. Man, the promise are awful today. Choice number one, we take the key. That election is getting pretty close, huh? And, uh, you know, try to get out of here without you, you know? too much of a kerfuffle. Bye. But I'm thinking that's probably a bad idea. So, option number two, we help Dave. Are you paying attention? Hello? We help Dave win the election, and Dave is amazingly grateful and gifts us the key. Yeah? Unfortunately, that relies on Dave being a rational human being that understands the concept of gratitude, and so far I've seen no evidence of that. Option three, can we help him lose the election? And if so, would that give us hey, some sway? Are you excited about Later. the election? I mean, he might be a little more yeah. willing to trade if he doesn't have power. Or whoever the next president is, maybe we could convince them. Okay, let's just... Hi! Evening. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm supposed to... Hey. Hi. Hello. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. See you. No, but but Dave wants me to talk to you about the about the election. He wants me to convince you to hello, hello. I'm supposed to be convincing people to vote. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Wait, but I'm Dave. I'm sorry, Mr. President. Your people won't talk to me. Hello. Oh, look at this. The spy has returned to gather intelligence. What? You're getting nothing from me, spy. What do you want? What are you talking about? I'm here to... There must be something I can do to stay. What? Uh, no! No! You want me to help you with the election? I got you a... I've got to do something else to stay? Hmm. Now that you mention it, the president could use a new hunting rifle. Tell Why? You, you find me a serviceable hunting rifle, and I'll grant you special asylum within my republic. What did you do or with the you last just one? Pay the 250 cap tax on unwanted refugees. I just brought you a. What? Did you lose it? Did you eat it? Oh, God. <sighs> oh, nobody's got to talk to me until. Ah. Uh, Fine. Half the 250 caps. Yes, this will do nicely. Congratulations. You are now an official refugee of the Republic of Dave. Fabulous. Thank you. No. Okay, I'm gonna talk to everyone now. You are safe here so long as you obey me, refugee. People talk to me now? Hello? I'm Dave's Hi wife, there. so don't Bye. even think about trying anything. Dave says oh. you're okay? Fine. Uh, okay. Right. I'd like to know more about the Republic. You should talk to Dave, but okay. Okay. You're, you're Dave's second wife. First wife. Okay, sorry. Rosie is the second wife, since she's the oldest and not good for anything anymore. Okay. Tell me more about Dave. That's President Dave to you, Wastelander. Call him by his full name, or we'll shoot you. He takes care of all of us. Oh. Even that selfish Rosie and her brats. Option My one. My children will be a lot nicer than hers. If there were not children here. Tell me more about yourself, Jessica. All I have to say is Dave is my husband. Mine. Do you understand? I don't care what Rosie has to say about it. Okay. Just because Rosie used to be this big leader out in the wasteland, she thinks she's better than me. She even ordered Dave around once. Okay. What's your take on the Republic? Dave is a great leader. 
He's going to bring civilization back to the wasteland. One day, they'll say it all started here. Yeah. That's all I needed. Okay. I don't think I want to discuss the election with you. You're safe as long as Dave says so. Yes, yes, apparently. And as long as I've got bloody money or an endless Hi. supply hey. of hunting Anything rifles. Anything going on? I don't know. Rosie. Bye. Hey. Could we talk somewhere else? But... Okay, never mind. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. I need to know more about the Republic. Sure, honey. But don't make it too long, or Dave will start wondering why we're talking. Right. You're Dave's first wife, right? And he has two. Well, yes. Dave and I were married when he was wandering the wasteland, before inheriting the Republic from his father, Tom. After Ralph was born, Dave said that the President of the Republic needed to repopulate the wasteland. So, now we have a second wife. <sighs> yeah. Okay, tell me more about Dave. Dave is a good man. He <laughs> looks after all the children and makes sure they have plenty to do. He's bought a lot of toys, not that he'd admit it. He has our Shauna teach classes to the younger ones. She's over at the Museum of Dave to the west of the Republic. Okay, actually she's eating dinner, I think. Okay, well, tell me about yourself, then. Not much to say, really. I'm Dave's wife, or first wife, I guess. I've lived here for mm, many years now. What's your take on the Republic? We have plenty of food and water here, and the compound is fairly safe. I'm glad the children can be raised here, away from the wasteland. I'd like to see more trading done with the local caravans, but Dave's afraid their outside influence could weaken the Republic. No, I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right. Sure, honey. Totally. Okay, I, I want to just talk with you about this election. Election time is always exciting around here. Who, who's running it exactly? Only Dave. He's the only person who ever runs. Okay, I can't throw my hat in, but out of curiosity, have you ever considered just sort of like, you know, idle thought? Keep your voice down. I am keeping it down. I'm not really comfortable talking about it out here. Okay, I think, I, let me, I'll ask you something else. Then. Anything else? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, we, we could talk. Well, let's talk another time, yes? Goodbye. Take care of yourself. Right, yeah, no, totally, totally. We'll, 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 we'll talk, um, yeah, somewhere else. You, I've spoken. Evening. To. Evening. Okay. Hey. Shauna! Hi. So, Dave gave you the okay, huh? Yes, he did. Well, welcome then. No, oh, thank you very I much. I run the Museum of Dave, where the children of the Republic can learn about their heritage. I'd like to know more about the Republic. I give a tour of the Museum of Dave every day at two. You at should two. check it out. Uh, okay, so you, 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 you want me to come back tomorrow and we can chat about the museum. Excellent. Brilliant. Dave has two wives, yeah? Dave revised the restrictive marriage laws of the Kingdom of Tom shortly after the Republic was formed. Multiple marriages is now considered <laughs> one of the great free freedoms of the Republic of Dave. Okay, does this mean you can marry two men or his wives could marry two men? I got a feeling it doesn't mean that, right? Tell me more about Dave. President Dave is the savior of the wasteland. Okay. Bringing peace and order to the savages man has brought upon himself. Right. If you would like to learn more, please stop by the Museum of Dave's official tour at 2 p.m. Okay. I know I shouldn't, but I am curious to see that tour. Tell me about yourself. Me? I just run the museum and teach classes to the little ones. You know, truth, justice, and the will of Dave. The will of Dave. Right, what's your take on the place? The Republic of Dave offers a rich history rivaling that of the great nations before the war. Okay. How very Dave-like. Okay. 
Uh, so Dave has his own museum. Oh, yes. Everything here is from Dave's adventures in the Wasteland before he founded the Republic. I give a tour every day starting around 2 p.m. You should stop by then. You keep... I gotta admit, you are persistent with this particular pitch. Does the museum accept donations? Why? Okay, out of curiosity, do you accept donations? I'd never really thought about that before. Why do you ask? No, it's just... I happen to have some souvenirs from Dave's past for sale. No, 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 I'm just asking, just asking. That's all right. I'm used to the children asking funny questions anyway. I don't think I've got anything for her, and I certainly don't want to get in any more trouble. Um, I'd like to discuss the election with you. Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. Have you ever considered running for the presidency? Absolutely not. In fact, I'd vote for Dave twice if I could. Okay. All right, okay. Never mind, never mind. Um, let's talk Anything about something else? else. Yeah, no, actually, no, you know what? I'm I'm going to go now. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Excellent. Uh Good to see you. Yeah, I would really like to talk to you, but I have a feeling we can't talk here. Hi right? there. Later. Okay, am Hi. I going to have to wait for Bye. tomorrow? Probably. Let's There was one more person. Where? Hi. Hello, Bob. Come on, make it fast. I got chores. Right, excellent. A man who knows his job and is eager to do it. Got it. Brilliant. Um, I'd like to know more about the Republic. Shauna runs the museum, not me. Right. What the hell do you want? Uh, I'm just, I'm gathering information because uh, Dave wants to help me to help out with the election. And he's got two wives, right? Yes, he does. And they're both pains in my ass. Always got to keep them in line, or else they get all teary. Teary? Why would they get teary? Tell me about Dave, then. Dave made me second commander of the Army of Dave. And that means I get a gun. Don't make me have to use it. You do see the large weapons that I'm carrying, right? And the power armor that I'm currently stood in, right? You, you did just threaten a man in power armor with a Gauss rifle, is what I'm saying. I mean, bravo, and also sort of face palm, all at the same time. Okay, Bob, tell me about yourself. All you need to know is that I'm second in command next to Dave, so don't bother me. And <sighs> don't talk to Rosie or Jessica either. Those are Dave's wives, and they have work they need to do. Gotta tell you, Bob, you're not making a good first impression here. What's your take on the Republic? Dave is in charge. When he's not around, I'm in charge. If you want anything else, go to the Museum of Dave on the left side of the compound. Right, I think that's all I need to know. Oh, great. I don't think I want to discuss the election with you, so later, Bob. Just don't bother me. I've got stuff to do for Dave. Yeah, very important stuff. You've got to wander around, glaring at stuff. You're doing an excellent job of it. I can see why he chose you for that job. Well, I think that was everybody. What is going on? Ah, target practice. Yeah, I think that was everybody that can vote. I don't think we've missed anyone. This is the museum. Okay. And... Okay, he's got a Chinese assault rifle and a Chinese officer's sword. At... Okay, there's a bobblehead. There is a... You know what? I feel like I'm owed something for the rifle and the 250 caps and the fact that I've had to put up with the attitude. I tell you what, let's... Yeah, we'll, we'll think about that once the, uh, once the whole election thing is sorted, right? 
So now the question is, do we do we wait until tomorrow and try and speak to Rosie? I'm worried that the election is going to. Good to see you. Oh, is everyone done? Okay. Maybe I can. All right. Will she speak to me now? Hi. Okay, Dave's going. Dave is. Is he? Oh, really? I was wondering if you wanted to talk. No, probably not. Okay. Um. I'm getting trapped. Come on, come on, dog me, dog me, dog me, dog me. Just, 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 just. No, I can't talk to her now. I can't. Dog me, I can't talk to her. Now, I can't talk to her now. You've got it. You've really. You've really got to give me some room. Whoa. Hey. Oh. Oh, no, I see what. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. Hey, hi. Something you need? Well done, dog me. You just had an instinct, didn't you? Um. I'd like to discuss the election with you. Election time is always exciting around here. Yeah. Okay, look, seriously, have you considered running for presidency? I know you have. Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. Okay. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. You mean like he did? with the whole wife thing. You could lead the Republic into a new era, the democracy of Rosie. Come on. No, no, I don't think I could. Sorry. Okay, well, we could change the name, you know, the, the Republic of Rosie. The awe-inspiring place of Rosie. It's not a betrayal, this... Yeah, no, it's not a betrayal. It's a free... This is a free nation, right? You're supposed to have representatives and people vote on them, right? Yeah, and like Dave says, freedom is the most free freedom that we have. You know what? You're right. What? I'll give it a shot. Oh, right. It's like my duty, isn't it? Totally. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. Okay, then. So you're... 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 You're, you're right. Can I discuss it with you, though? Election time is always exciting around here. Okay, no, but the thing is, is... I've got all the info I need. Glad to hear it. Do I need to conv... I'm gonna... Whatever. Oh, yeah, totally, whatever. Whatever. We need to talk to some other people. Um... Yeah, probably a bad idea talking to you, hey. but... Mm, just, just, just... Right, okay. Oh, it's done. Shauna! Shauna! Uh, word with you? Something you need? Mmm, okay. Um, I want to discuss the election with you. Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. Oh, I'm sure you can. Did you know Rosie is running for president now? Wow, really? I've always said that she'd make a great leader. And we've never had a woman lead us before. Totally. So you would vote for her? So you'd vote for her? Okay, okay, okay. Um, then let's talk about something else. Anything else? No, nothing, nothing. That sounds good, that sounds good, that sounds good. Maybe you should go vote. If you've not voted, maybe you should go vote. Yes, you, you go vote. You go vote, right? Oh no. Dave sent you to tell me that, didn't he? Sort of. I'll go right away, I promise. But remember, female leader, that would be great, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be just absolutely awesome. Don't have high hopes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, there's five of them in total. If Rosie votes for herself and she votes, we need one of them. We need one. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, Bob! Yes? What my is? favorite on, person. You know, I was I was just saying to Dog Me here, what, a, what an awe-inspiring person you are. But I was just wondering if, um, if you'd thought about options when it comes to the election. Oh, yeah? What about it? Um, I'm wondering if you know Rosie's running for president now. So I've heard. She couldn't possibly think that she'd be better than Dave. Okay. But, you know, if she was the... Okay, I got nothing. Never mind. Is that it, then? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I can't imagine anything I say Whatever. appealing to you. 
nothing. There's not a thing. There's not a thing. What 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 am I gonna say? Hmm. The only thing I can think of is, well, if she comes to power and Dave's out of the picture, you get to be the alpha male. But then he's gonna be like, yeah, but then I've got a female president, and I'm like, look at that. Uh, Dave, what? What? lead our republic to glory. Please tell hey. me, who did you vote for? What? Okay. Something you need? I need to discuss the election with I'll you. I'll help you if I can. Okay. Did you know Rosie's running for... But this is not going to go well, is it? Poor girl doesn't stand much of a chance, does she? Probably not. Never mind. Anything else? Yeah. No. Whatever. Okay, this is not going to go well. Who did you vote for, Sean? Something you need? Who did you vote for? Who did you vote for? Did, did you vote? You should go vote. But I did already. Who did you vote for? Who did you vote for? Who did you vote for? I want to talk about... Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. Oh... Uh, you know, Rosie's running. Wow, you... really? Y yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always said that she'd make a great leader. No, I know. And we've never had a woman lead us before. I, you said this. I want to know, did you... Okay, never mind. Anything else? I'm just hoping you voted... Whatever. ...the right way. I'm not trying to put any pressure on you because that would be undemocratic. I'm gonna guess there's no chance I could convince Dave to um. Directly, probably not. This is not gonna go well, is it? Uh, Hello, Rosie. Um. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think we're gonna be able to overthrow Dave, I'm afraid. I think what we do is we just get the election over with and hope for the gratitude option. I think we need to hope for the gratitude option. All right. Come oh. on, make it fast. I got chores. Go vote. Go vote. You should go vote right now. Fine. I'll get out of the way. Just, just, just do it really, really quickly. Really, really quickly. Just take the tick and go. Yeah, don't even read the names. Don't. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Look, there's a chance he'll accidentally vote for Rosie, right? I mean, the man's that stupid. All we need. Bye. Where was, where was... Okay, where is... Wife number... Ah, uh, okay. Hey, Have something you, vote? you need? You voted, right? You should go vote. You're right. I'll go right now. Vote for yourself. Don't forget. Hmm. Can't believe I'm... I suppose voting for Dave is the patriotic thing to do. No! No! Something you need? Go vote. I guess you're right. I'll go right now. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Hmm. All done. Dave's the best. <laughs> Dave. Yes. What can President Dave do for you? Okay, I got great news. The election's over, I think. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? No, I'm pretty sure everyone's voted. Looks like all the votes are in. Looks like you might have an opponent in the race. Yeah, there was an opponent. Don't know how that <laughs> happened. Opponent? Seriously? But... But... Wait. No, this is a free republic. Right. Let the people make their choice. I am confident that they will recognize me as their true and proper leader. Probably. Looks like they're all in, Mr. President. Good. The votes are in. If you'll excuse me, I'll be getting started on tallying the numbers. Sure. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. Here's your caps. Keep this up, and I may deign to make you a citizen in a few years. Oh, joy. 25 caps. Well, I'll be sure to save it. Wouldn't want to spend it all have here. once. Good to see a you. Vote for me. And another vote for me. A vote for Rosie. 
It's long. Hmm. After counting the votes, the president is... Well, looks like another triumphant victory for myself. <laughs> oh, yay! Mr. President! Hey! Da -da 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 Hi. Yes? What can President Dave do for you? Okay, still President Dave, I would like to talk to you. What were the results? The people have re-elected me as their president. Oh, that's so awesome. It's great to see the democratic process at work. Yes! Sue! About this Crowley dude. There's a name I haven't heard oh, in no. a long time. Before you heard about it me an hour or so ago. I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. I know! I know. Oh, we were God. part of an expedition oh, no. oh. to Fort... Thank you for sharing your wisdom, Mr. President. Bye. It is such a burden being the wisest. Oh. I hope these scraps of wisdom make your life better. Oh, I hate you. I don't want 